Hello beautiful and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this month's collected haul where I am going to show you all the things that I have added into my collection, things that I bought myself, things that I've gotten in PR and I'm going to give you some quick thoughts and reviews of the things that I've already tried. I'm going to show you some swatches of some of these things that I've already swatched, just giving you a full rundown of what's been added to my collection and then you can let me know which things you would like to see me dive into a little bit more. I'm also on a little bit of a low buy journey so I'm also going to be letting you know how much money has been spent on these things and whether or not I feel like I did a good job or not that's gonna be also in this video and if you haven't been here before do consider subscribing because I do a lot of videos all about beauty and makeup and having fun with beauty makeup and I would love to see you in my next one as well I have also once again teamed up with HelloFresh for the beginning part of this video. I've been working with HelloFresh for such a long time. I've been a customer of HelloFresh for such a long time. Me and my husband started using HelloFresh, I'm pretty sure, as more of a New Year's resolution back in... I want to say it was a couple of years ago, just making sure that we were eating less takeout and just trying to be a little bit better at eating a home cooked meal, which is not always the easiest when you have two people that are very much in love with their careers and love spending time at work and does not as much love spending time, you know, planning, cooking, going to the grocery store, all of that thing. With HelloFresh, you get pre-measured ingredients straight to the door once a week with recipe cards, with pictures, which is always nice, where you get to see how the food is supposed to look and you just cook. It's cooking by numbers. <laughs> it's just so easy and everything is pre-measured so you don't end up having to throw away a lot of food. That's also something that we really noticed with HelloFresh. We basically do not throw away any food anymore because everything is used. Like you get the amount that you're supposed to be using and you don't have to plan what you're going to be eating for the rest of the week. You don't have to do all those grocery store trips because me and my husband, we were just not that good at planning out meals and we ended up going either to the grocery store every day, which who has time for that? I don't have time for that. I don't want to do that. <laughs> Listen, I don't want to do that. Or we ended up doing takeout, which does add up financially and also health-wise it's not just the best for you and we do four meals even though we're only two people so that we can save the meals for the day after love hellofresh in my lunch box as well it's definitely a super convenient and yummy way to save some money on lunches like at work as well so all you have to do is log into the website or log into the app and you get to choose out of 40 different recipes every week what you would like to cook and there are so many different things to choose from we do the vegetarian box but there are pescatarian there are calories smart they are quick and easy which I cannot recommend enough because we all know that sometimes you end up kind of being hungry the time you're supposed to start cooking we've all been there I've been there I've been I'm there often <laughs> I'm there often and then I just want to have something that I can have on the table really quick within 20 or 30 minutes and HelloFresh has a lot of those different options. Another thing that I really really love with HelloFresh is that you always get seasonal ingredients so you can see when like vegetables and different ingredients are coming into season so you start seeing different kind of vegetables throughout the year. It also keeps us on our toes so we don't end up seeing the same recipes all over. I have never yet been bored with the things that I've been able to choose from from HelloFresh so I'm sure that you will find things that you like as well and if nothing else do check out the link down below and just see all of the different recipes that they have to offer because it is truly really yummy restaurant quality meals that is honestly really easy to cook at home. So go to hellofresh.com and use the code and yeshka50 for 50% off plus your first box ships for free. That is hellofresh.com use the code and yeshka50 to get 50% off plus your your first box ships for free. So thank you again HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. I am per usual a really happy HelloFresh customer. This has been something that we have truly loved for years. So let's get into the haul portion of the video. Per usual I am going to start with the things that I bought myself, then we're going to get into PR and then I'm going to end up with letting you know the numbers like how much I spent on beauty and makeup this month and I'm going to compare it to how much I spent on beauty and makeup in March last year because my goal is to spend less this year than I did last year and I know some people have been telling me oh it's because of inflation that I've been spending more some months and I don't necessarily 
making myself think that. I definitely think that inflation is playing a big role in why we are spending more money on different things. But some months I've been spending like hundreds of dollars more and most products have only gone up a couple of dollars, if even that. Not every beauty product has gone up in, in, in like has gone up in price and that would mean that I had bought like a hundred products each month. I don't do that. So in this case, inflation is not the answer. The, the answer as to why I spend more some months versus not is either I bought more expensive things or I just wasn't able to hold back and I bought more things than I did the year before and it's usually has more to do with when releases come that catch my eye but it's also up to me to be like holding myself in and be like you don't need to buy everything we'll talk about that in the end let's start with moira i have I have tried Moira before. Actually, let me pull back my hair because I can't deal with this anymore. I have tried Moira before. I only tried a powder blush and I didn't love it for the simple reason that it was very, very pigmented. I thought it was too pigmented for my liking. Some people love a super pigmented blush. I tried that one that was like an ombre blush with a nice pan imprint beautiful blush but it was too pigmented for my personal taste so i didn't buy that one again and for some reason i never tried moira again but they did release listen i have a full bag i'm gonna have none of you judge me <laughs> look i see you with your judgy eyes over there don't judge me okay they released liquid liners they're over here so i decided this is it this is gonna tip me over so i bought a full face of moira so i am definitely going to be filming that that is on my to-do list of like one of the next three videos that is going to be filmed for my channel so i have powder i have bronzer i have foundation concealer uh, lip product lashes eyeliners i didn't buy an eyeshadow palette because none of the palettes that i saw online were because i would want something that's a little new because someone told me that their newer formula is better than their older formula this might not be true i also didn't want to buy a color story that was like not 100 percent me so i actually bought a couple of eyeliners and i bought a single instead like this like lime green so i thought we'd try and do something more asymmetric maybe a graphic liner or something like that uh, do something green and fun so yeah that's the first thing that i bought and, and i am very excited to be trying it out and we will do a video because a bunch of you have been asking me when is moira coming and just know it is here in my possession and it's definitely on my to-do list it's happening soon ish why don't we talk about scentbird as well in the beginning i am a i do subscribe to scentbird i get scentbird every month and i did work with scentbird as well a couple of months ago two months ago last month i don't know when it was but it's quite recently but this is my own subscription the one that i pay for myself and i i have no idea if i'm gonna be working with them again or not Ooh, i do wish i would because i love scentbird clearly i'm a customer so this month i actually i still haven't put it into maybe i'll use the yellow one because i love a good yellow so you can actually just open the container like this and you can pull out the perfume that you have here from before and then you put in your new monthly scent and you put this back on it's magnetic and it's like it's like either lock or open so i got the etat libre de d'orange that's what i think it is and it's the i am trash scent this is bitter orange apple essence rose absolute strawberry and cedar wood and i smell everything of that in this perfume and my husband sniffed it as well i'm actually wearing this one today my husband sniffed this as well yesterday and he agreed that he also could smell the oranges, the apples, the woods, the strawberries, like it's literally here. And he also said, I'm like, what can you smell? And he's like, oh, it's fruity. And I was telling him which fruits and he's like, yeah, I definitely agree. And then I was telling him that there's some cedar wood in here. He's like, yeah, I can definitely scent so that there's something in the background. And then he said, there's something floral as well. So he could spot the rose also. But it's not overbearingly rosy. I would still say that this is a fruity perfume. But it's a little bit more because of the bitter oranges. It is not as like fizzy and not as like young or anything like that. It's a little bit more like a grown up fruity scent. Which is, you know me, I love a fruity scent. So thank you whoever recommended this one to me. I am a big fan. Mm. I'm a big fan. I love a bitter orange. This is like a... 
Have you ever tried, you know I was raving about that when I still love that perfume so much, the Bitter Oranges by Jo Malone. This is like a summer version of that with some strawberry apples and rose in it. So this is like the summer version of the Bitter Oranges. I'm gonna be honest with you, I actually have not bought that many things. Just letting you know. I did buy this one. This was the first day of the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. And this is so far the only thing that I have bought during the sale. Even though I think there is a bunch of things during the sale that actually have been quite good this time. But I didn't need them myself because I wasn't like out. But I was actually out of the Peach and Lily Matcha Pudding Antioxidant Cream. I am out of this one. And I haven't still dug into this one because I'm using up another day cream right now that I don't love much so i'm just using it up so that i can start using this one it just smells like it smells like tea and like citrus but in not in a overwhelming way it just has a very faint smell of yeah matcha and just a little bit of a fresh citrus in there but not in an overwhelming like ugh, citrus uh, it's just a wonderful cream it is a little gel like in consistency i can use this as a day cream and a night cream if i use it as a day cream and i'm gonna put makeup on i need to let it I can't put it on straight before makeup, but if I put on like skincare in the morning and then do my makeup one hour later, this works as a day cream for me as well. I really think that's a good one. I mean, I used it up and I bought it myself. I think that does say something. I also did buy one thing from Makeup Revolution, and this is that cream uh, blush bronzer duo that I was talking about. So this is from XX Revolution. This is the Glow Sculptor Cream Blush and Bronzer. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the packaging from XX Revolution, and this is in lock and key. Was how do you open this one? Hold. He. So this is a bronzer and blush, and I think this might be good for me depending on how pigmented it is. But I haven't used it yet. I probably should have used it today when I was trying out new makeup. But I'll do another one of these like trying out new makeup, and we'll include this one because I definitely have some eyeshadows that I want to be using in a video like that as well. So let me know if there's any of these things that you want to see me use. This one, I don't know why I haven't been using it. You know what I do. It's because I launched my own beauty brand, Singe, and it's been taking up quite a lot of my time. But I am intrigued to be trying this one out because I will say the last cream bronzer... I don't need the packaging. What am I doing? The last cream bronzer I tried for Makeup Revolution was so good that I mentioned it in my yearly favorites. I'm just saying. Then I did repurchase three things. I did like a... I have used these up and I would like to buy them again. So I bought the NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen, but this time I actually bought it in Auburn. It is what I have in my brows today. Really love this product. I've been using it for years. I've been mentioning this as a favorite for years. If you are in need of a product that you can draw in lines in your brows and just draw in more hairs, if you're having sparse areas and you don't want to have blocky brows, this is the one, this is better than high-end. It comes in so many different colors. This is a really, really good product and I cannot recommend this one enough. I think this is my fourth or fifth of these that I'm buying. I actually have it in several different colors here right now because sometimes I use different colors depending on the kind of result that I wanna have. Now I bought it in Auburn. It is absolutely beautiful. I've already dug into it, started to use it. I also re-bought a lip liner because I used it up. Who uses up a lip liner? Let me actually go and get it because I have it over here. So this is the Too Faced Lady Bold uh, Lip Liner in Badass. And it comes in a packaging like this, but it is a slim lip liner. And I used up one of these and I decided to repurchase because I was missing it. It truly is my lip color. It is like a lighter lip liner than some of the other ones I have. So when I really want to have just a bare lip but I want to have something glossy on like a lip oil or something I still because I have fine lines and age is taking some of the plumpness out of your lips I still need a lip liner otherwise things are going to be smearing all over my face and th things are just going to look blurry and smeary and I do like overlining as well but this one is my lip color but maybe half a shade lighter which honestly just looks so nice and natural and it's one of those that you click up but you can still, even if you have a little bit on, you can still put it in the cap and it doesn't smush it. So don't be too worried about that. But I did go through one and this is my second one. The only bad thing about this is that it doesn't hold a lot of product. 
and it doesn't hold a lot of product but it is a good product and i did repurchase the other thing that i repurchased let me actually show you how this one looks because i'm not entirely out i'm still using this one but i'm almost out i'm at the point where it's not gonna be working out for so much longer and this is the nyx hd powder in banana this has been a favorite of mine on my channel for probably five or six years i've truly been using this for an embarrassingly long time and if someone would ever tell me oh youtubers always have new favorites i've been using this for so many years it is a beautiful beautiful powder and i was almost out so i decided to get a new one this is really affordable i cannot recommend this enough i use it uh, as an under eye powder but it it works all over your t-zone honestly it's just such a beautiful powder it comes in two different colors as well really really do recommend it i think it is an absolutely beautiful powder and i definitely needed a new one in my life speaking of Too Faced, the palette that i bought this month is the italian spritz palette this is what it looks like i have done a video on this i have done a dedicated video on this where i did two different eye looks with this palette and then i have a get ready with me where i was getting ready to go to an event and i was also bringing you along to the event vlogging a little bit i went to the event by Cora Organics, which is owned by model Miranda Kerr. So I went to the event and I got to meet Miranda and it was just such a beautiful event. And I wore this palette to that event as well. And I did a really smoky look with the metallic black on the lid. It smells not like lemons. It smells a little like just fruity fresh. I think the smell is not overbearing. When I'm next to it like this, I can smell it, but I really didn't smell it when I was like using it on my eyes at all. So I don't mind myself, but if you're super sensitive to like scented products, this one might not be for you. I was really impressed with this palette. I thought this palette was beautiful. I was more impressed with the mattes than the shimmers. I think the shimmers are beautiful, but some of them are a little chunky, but if you spray them or if you use your finger, you're not gonna have a problem at all. But I, I will say I am very impressed with this palette. I think it's really beautiful. And it's making me very excited to see what they will be able to bring out for the future because I feel like this was a little bit of a comeback for the brand eyeshadow palette wise. And when I said palette of the month, I actually do have another thing here that I bought, but I technically did buy this at the end of February, but I'm counting it in this month's expenses because I think I did the video in March and I'm pretty sure I did not include these in the February haul and that is the palettes by Huda Beauty the new uh, mattes palettes so there is a cool mattes that looks like this with like more uh, rose tones a little bit more of a burgundy leaning a little bit more on the mauve side it's a really pretty palette I think you have two creams in here as well and the rest are uh, powder shadows and then we have the one that is the warm mattes this is leaning a lot more on the toasty orangey a little bit more on the just the warmer side all over and you have two creams in here as well uh, and in this one it is the light and the dark one I have used these palettes a little bit more more behind the scenes and I'm not 100% figured out because when I used this the first time and I used the cream shadow uh, and then I set it with a powder it creased like crazy in in just a couple of uh, hours and I thought that this one was going to behave like the Natasha Denona because her cream shadows that she has in her palettes you can use them like on bare skin or on an eyeshadow primer they won't crease you can set them with powder or you cannot set them with powder they still won't crease with these what I have noticed so far is that they crease on top of eyeshadow primers. So I think for me, I'm going to have to play around with them a little bit more. But so far, I have noticed that they crease with a primer, which I have not had a problem with other cream shadows doing that. But I also, with saying that, I don't have too much experience with cream shadows outside of like some of the ones that i've used like the colourpop ones does not crease on me over a primer the natasha denona ones do not crease on me over a primer so it was just a little bit of a new experience with me and if you're also having some troubles with these creasing and if you like bought them try using them without a primer i was having a little bit better luck like that but i don't think that these will be like my favorite favorite because i do I, I will say I don't like jumping through burning hoops to get products to work for me. 
That's just my uh, experience. And I have this one as well. This is the last thing that I bought. This is the Glow Recipe Strawberry BHA Pore Smooth Blur Drops Serum. I think I have already actually reviewed this one as you're seeing me haul it. And I'm fairly sure that that was like Monday's video where I was like, I think I was ranking this one. And if you saw that video, you know that I absolutely love this one. I think it is such a good product. It really, I don't know, it blurs a little bit. It blurs a little bit, but that's not why I love it. It really keeps the oils at bay without you feeling crusty, without you feeling like tight or like you feeling dry and it doesn't pill under makeup. But when I use this one, I can really tell that it keeps me matter for longer. It elongates the wear of my makeup and it can take a foundation that looks good for eight hours to all of a sudden look good for 12 hours. This truly has been a really good primer. And the reason why I was so confident in reviewing it so fast is because I have used this one almost every time that I've been doing my makeup lately and almost I think I've been using this every time that I've been doing my makeup outside of YouTube as well. Like when I went to Houston, for example, it made my foundation look great all throughout the day and evening. So I really, really do like this product and I feel very like confident in reviewing it pretty straight away. Okay, let's get into some of the PR that I have here. These have been the things that I bought myself and honestly, I don't think it was that bad. Okay, let's start with some things that I have gotten from Sigma Beauty. They released some new of these nine pan palettes and I haven't been able to try these yet because it's been a, it's been a busy month, but this is the Earthy palette. It is a little bit almost like that khaki palette that Huda Beauty did. It has a really nice green in the middle there. And I will say that this dark brown that's down here, it definitely has a little bit of a green undertone, but it is a brown shade. Then we have the Jewels one. I think this might be my favorite. It just looks really, really pretty. We have the electric pink, which has a duochrome up here. It's like a purple to a light blue. I think you can see that. And then we have the beachy one. And honestly, I think a lot of people would really enjoy this because it is neutrals in the crease. You can make it smoky. This is a matte black, like a matte charcoal. You can see it's not as dark as this one with gold glitter in it. You could probably make, if you pack that on a really cool, like, out and about look and then two really nice blue uh, metallics and this one is definitely a little bit of a duochrome action as well so I think that this would just be a really nice party palette and also of course you can keep it a little neutral but I do think a lot of people would like that they sent me two brushes and then they sent me this one I have the big one here but mine is dirty so I'm not showing you but this is the Sigma switch you can just clean your brushes on this one people were asking me if you can use something like this on my cinch brushes and you definitely can so if you want to clean your cinch brushes on something like this this is definitely uh, very much possible I also have here <laughs> And I really want to do something with these because they look so incredible. But I will pop up a picture here so you can see what they look like. But these are the glosses from Unearthly Cosmetics. I have all of the shades here. And there are some really, really cool shades here. Let me see if I can show you Moss. Oh my god, how did I think that this was going to happen? Hold. Here is Moss. And it is the same component as she has with her satin liquid lipsticks. But it is a gray instead of a black. And Moss is a shimmery green. They just smell a little bit like fudge, which is nice, but it is a shimmery green and I cannot wait to be trying these out. I have not been able to get to them yet, but I'm very excited. I have tried the lip gloss formula before from Unearthly Cosmetics and it is a really nice glossy and it looks really juicy on the lips, but it's not sticky gloss formula. I have two of the glosses in my collection, but I'm very excited to see her bring them into her permanent collection. So. I think someone's leaving a package. I'm excited about these. Let me go and see what that is. Maybe it's something fun. Maybe it's something I can show you. Actually, it was not a delivery guy. It was my mailman from USPS. He was giving me some of those really big like post bags so that I can put my packages in cinch in so it would be easier to deliver in the future. Let me show you this Colourpop PR package. This is the Legends of Korra. So there are quite a few things in this collection. I don't know if you saw the series. This is the series that came after Avatar The Last Airbender. I did put away the palette, but I will say they're not dupes, but they're definitely a little similar. Oh my God. Look at my Super Shock was like smushed into 
this like a little lid thing but i want to do something with this collection i want to somehow use it i don't know why this one was so smushed don't love this packaging because i feel like it's a little hard to open and sometimes these packagings break the cardboard packaging is beautiful though and there are a couple of like eyeliners and there are these fresh kiss lip creams that i don't love but the packaging is so cute and then there are some multi-chrome shadows and we're definitely going to be taking a closer look at these in the video because i don't know if i'm going to do a dedicated video i'm probably going to do a like a get ready with me just using these products they say they are multi-chrome and i wonder i wonder how multi-chrome they are like when i look at it here it's definitely a green to a purple but like multi-chrome means more than two shades like I have yet to see more than two shades. This one. This one is a multi-chrome. But this one I see the blue, green, uh, gold, bronze. This one definitely the earth one. But yeah, we're going to be trying these out and we're going to see how they look. Let me look at this one. Oh yeah, this, this one definitely too. This is a blue to a green uh, to a gold to a like burgundy. I think you can see a little bit of it there. So yeah, we're going to be trying this out and see if these are like good quality. I think this is the first time that like Colourpop is actually doing uh, multi-chromes. And this is the palette, The Legends of Korra. It is a little bit similar in packaging to the um, Avatar The Last Airbender palette. This one is a little bit bigger than that one because it has one extra row. I think I prefer, like just initial impression, I prefer this palette color story. But I will say I really like the Avatar The Last Airbender palette and that quality is really good. Like they really did something with the quality of that palette. So I'm really hoping that this is the same quality. The only shadows that I would say just straight out of the gate, I'm like, this seem a little similar. It's probably some of these like more bronzy brown shades and also this red. I wonder how similar this red is to the red that's in the Avatar palette and also the blue because there is a, if I'm not totally mistaken, a similar blue in that palette. But overall, it looks really pretty. This one, the Future Future Industries, is a Super Shock Shadow and it has the same marble effect as the Super Shock Shadows in the big Star Wars palette had. I don't know if you remember those. It reminds me a little bit of that one. Another Colourpop package that I have is this one, the heavy petal uh, collection and this one has some luxe lipsticks and it also has some cheek dews and i actually really want to try these out because i've heard some people say that they think that colourpop uh, reformulated these and i kind of hope they did because they weren't an amazing formula i thought they were too watery they just looked sticky on i didn't think that they were pigmented enough for the work that they required it lifted your foundation because i thought they were too liquidy or too like like oily or less sticky and i thought they just look wet on the cheek i didn't think they have enough pigment this one is a shimmery formula this is the peachy one there's also a bronze like more of a bronzy blush with a shimmer so i'm really looking forward to be trying those out i think I'm very intrigued to see if I like them. And then the palette looks like this. I don't think I'm going to have time to dig into this one. This is the Heavy Petal palette. But I will say, I do think that this is a nice spring palette for someone who wants to add something a little bit different to their collection, but still don't want to go like super bright because it's mostly neutrals and a pop of burgundy and a pop of lavender. I also got this collection from Half Magic Beauty and that is tape they are releasing uh, some of their existing formulas in new colors and this is the magic nudes collection i honestly don't think it's a bad idea for them to release some colors that are a little bit more nude leaning because this brand has been a very very colorful brand and the product that is new in this collection is actually the product that i've been using today and this is the glitter puck it looks like this it is what i put on my cheekbones and it's what i put like here on my like shoulders and on my collarbones you will be able to see this in the video uh they get ready with me when i'm doing this look it's going to be linked down below oh, it's probably going to be linked in a pinned comment actually if you want to see how this one is on i do think it's a really interesting product and it's very interesting how much product you get of this um so i yeah I really like the Half Magic Beauty brand. I think they make really, really solid formulas. And there also is lip glosses. And I have never tried a lip gloss from Half Magic Beauty before. So I'm very intrigued to be trying it now. 
Oh, that looks really nice. It's the same type of component as the liquid eyeshadow. Their liquid eyeshadows are so good. And there is a couple of nudie options in this collection. Doesn't smell like anything. It looks very glossy and glowy. Let's put some on. That's very high shine, not really sticky. Okay, I'm, I'm very intrigued to be trying these out. Like I said, I am a big fan of Half Magic Beauty. I think they make really good products and I'm super excited to be having some more in my life. I also got some of these Phyto Glow Lip Balms by Naturium. And these are in three different colors. No, it's a clear and then it's a jam and then it is petal. I haven't been able to try these out myself yet because I quite recently got them. But let's open one up. I think. Hello, sir. Sir. <laughs> ah, pretty sure Naturium is sold at Target, right? I've really been impressed with a bunch of their products. So this is a lip balm. Oh, love this kind of applicator that has like a, like a little, almost looks like a beak. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. This is what this one looks like. It's like a, a somewhat clear with a mauve. Smells a little sweet. Mm, we're definitely gonna be trying this one out. I love a good like lip moisturizer or something like that. I have them in my bags, plural. I have them by the door. I have two by my computer. Like I use them and apply them all the time. So I'm very excited to be digging into this one. Here's actually the container for the Cora Organics Plant Stem Cell Retinol Alternative uh, Serum. I have this in my bathroom. So this is just like the empty box. I'll pop up a picture of how it looks here. I have been using this quite a lot and I haven't seen any effects of it yet. I've been using it almost every day, but what I can say it says that you're gonna see an effect within four weeks which it has not been yet and I also will say I have not been that good at using it the past week when I've been like really stressed about singe so I should probably give it five weeks uh, before I give you any thoughts about this but what I will say I've been using it every day in my nighttime routine and I have had no reactions to it no peeling, no like breakouts, no itching, no redness, no nothing like that, that you sometimes can get with retinols. So if nothing else, that is a really good thing. Oh, here's another product in that uh, Colourpop collection that we talked about. I also got a retinol for all renewing serum by Peach and Lily. I love Peach and Lily. Like you saw, I actually rebought one of their creams myself. And this is a retinol for all renewing serum. Uh, it's a finally a retinol serum that a, even sensitive skin can love. Transform your skin, visibly reverse all signs of photo aging and prevent premature signs of aging. Uh, I have not been using this because I did uh, start with the Cora Organics one first, but I will eventually try this one out as well because I really do love Peach and Lily. So I am excited to be trying this one out as well. But as of right now, I don't have an opinion on it. I did get some products from, I don't see the other products here, but I did get some products from Soul Body, which is one of the brands that is in the same uh, like group as ColourPop. They're owned by the same owner. So I got the Gradual Sunless Tanning Lotion. This one, I have gone through one of these and I am currently on my second one. And when they asked me if I wanted another one, I instantly said yes because I love this product. It is a body cream that goes on like a body lotion. It's a body lotion that goes on without any color and it gives you a hint of sun, just a slight gradual tan. It's the perfect product if you wanna elongate the effect of a tan, if you wanna elongate the effect of a sunless tanner, if you just wanna moisturize your skin and even 
straighten out your skin tone this is perfect for that it smells like cookie dough and i just really like this product i have been using it for years i have been recommending it for years and i'm super excited to have another one i used it as of like the last time i used it was a couple of days ago i also got a new product that i've never tried before and this is the hair and body oil by soul body this one i will probably not use until summer because this is the kind of stuff that i love using on my legs when i have like shorts or a skirt or a dress so i'm super excited to be trying it out i can't smell if my, i already have lip gloss on here i can't smell if it smells like anything should i put this one down and see if we can try it i also got one of those shimmery body oils and if you watch my video where i went to the cora organics event you saw me use that one i don't know where i put it since then oh oh it has that it has the soul body scent so it is a body and hair oil but it's not as it's not as prominent as it is with some soul body products but it's definitely there oh i am a big fan i am super excited to be trying this out it just makes you look a little you know moisturized and just glowy what's not to love the rest that is in this little box here are my products from jason Wu. i did a full video a full face of jason Wu, and i was using the highlighter palette which i have been using since and it is so good the bronzer and contour palette there is a blush palette and i have three different eyeshadow palettes is this pastel one it is the matte neutral one and then it is this little quad as well plus i have two lip products here as well this is a lipstick that mm, smells nice actually how did i miss that so yeah i had some hits i had some misses if you want to see me try all of these things and swatch it and just hear my thoughts about that i do have a full video on that and i will leave it down below in case you like me were also a little bit intrigued <laughs> by Jason Wu and we're kind of wondering why nobody was talking about that brand. Then I have two different PR packages from Lawless Beauty and the first one is that they released the, uh, I think these are called the Lip Plumper Oh, the name is not on here. Anyways, these are their colored lip balms. I don't remember. I think it is the same. It's basically the same idea as their like the, the lip plump thing, which is not a stinging plumping. It is a cooling plumping. If you were ever wondering why everyone seems to love this one, even though they don't like a plumping gloss, it's because this is cooling, not stinging. The one from Lawless, that is. But these are a glowy lip balm in a stick formula. And the thing that surprised me a little bit with this formula, let me find the one that I've used. Oh, this is the one that I've used, the Georgie one. The one, the thing that surprised me a little bit with this formula is that this is not like the Makeup by Mario stick or the Tarte one or the LH Cosmetics one. This is more like a firm balm. So you don't get too much product on your lips but i actually kind of like it because it doesn't get super goopy on the lips if you've ever tried the afterglow lip balms by nars these are more like those lip balms instead of those that get you get that are super soft to the point that you get like too much product on the lips because this one you can like twist up this is more firm but i actually really did like it on the lips i did like how it wears and i was excited to be trying this one out i also got a package that had first of all it had like a bunch of their brow products i have never tried the lawless brow products but we'll see if we can dive into that one and then uh, there also was forget the filler the lip plumping original like one in a very almost like clear baby pink this is probably going to look like nothing on the lips and then there is the hydrating plumping soothing lip mask this is an overnight lip mask. I still have not used this formula, but I love this formula so much that I have almost used up a third of the one that's standing by my computer. And you know, I have a lot of lip products to choose from. And then they came out with this like lavender collection. And we all know that this isn't my journey. The, the, this isn't my journey so this is part of the lavender collection this one is in violet bloom i don't see myself using that and this is lavender sorbet this is also just gonna open it but i'm not gonna swatch it and use it this is also like a cool toned lavender pink 
It's not my journey. I love the formula, but those colors are not for me. The one that I have used a third of is the one, the cherry one, the one that is like a red. Oh, it's it's a it's a it's like a transparent, glossy, but just sheer red gloss. It is so pretty. And then we have the palette, the lavender palette. I don't know if you want me to dig into this one, if you want me to do something. I've never tried their formula, I've never tried their eyeshadows. So you're gonna have to let me know what you think about it. Like, just look at it, it looks pretty. This one is a la light lavender shimmer. There is a like an iridescent sparkle to it that looks really pretty. So you're gonna have to let me know how you feel about this one, if this is a brand that you're like interested in. I also got this little cute thing from Pixie, and this is the Pixie Skin Treats, and this is the uh, little under eye, whoop, so rude, little under eye masks, and it came in this little, uh, like here, and you open it up, and it has a seal, but I do have had these from before, and there are like little jelly under eye patches, and if you put this in the uh, fridge, these are the perfect thing to be taken out and using. If you have that night on the town, the important date, the day that you really need to look, you know, deep puffed and fresh and hydrated these patches are the best for that and this is the nutri eye nourishing eye patches there are 30 pairs in here so there are 60 individuals and you just put them under the eye and leave them on for a little bit and it truly does just rehydrate and refresh the under eye i i should be better at using these because i really do like them i think i only have one thing left if i'm not totally mistaken and that is that I got a big package from Pacifica. I have been getting some PR from Pacifica before. I'm actually wearing a concealer from Pacifica today, this one, but I'm using it in another color. This is the one that I've opened. It's like a glass bottle. So I have been using some things from Pacifica before. They sent me a like an under eye powder, which looks very intriguing to be uh, trying out. They also sent me the two eyeshadow palettes, you know, that was like released. So it's the purple one and it is the brown one. And there's a bunch of skincare in here and there are some like lip balms. There are some eye pens. Look like this. And there are some really fun stuff in here. Super Lit Enzyme Scrub. There are some really, really cool stuff in here. And there's also one of these Chill Baby Cooling Cryo glob Globs globes everybody calm down i don't know if i'll be getting to using these but i do have a bunch of things here from pacifica so if you would like me to keep sprinkling pacifica into my videos please do let me know per usual let me know which are the things you're the most intrigued by because that helps me to decide which things to include in videos and which things to might just like skip over oh my god i forgot to talk about these two things as well i'm i Technically, I have done filming, but I'm clipping myself in now because I forgot to talk about the things that I'm wearing today, and you're probably super annoyed with me. One of the things that I got in PR from Colourpop was that I was able to build my own face palette. I am actually really excited that they did not send me the entire collection of the bronzers, blushes, and highlighters. I even said that in my new makeup releases. I kind of hope that they forget about me because I don't need that. But instead, they asked me if I wanted to build my own face palette, which is so much better. So it is a bronzer, there are three blushes and two highlighters, and this is what I have on my cheeks today, together with that glitter thing from Half Magic Beauty, and I like it. I'm not in love, but I definitely think it's a nice formula. Is it my favorite formula? No, but it did get the job done, and I think it's a decent formula, and if this is easily like accessible for you, or if you find a color that you really like, I don't think it's bad by any stretch of the imagination. We forgot to talk about the Nomad Cosmetics Royal Europe. This is the palette that I have on my eyes today doing this look. Like I said, this look is already live on my channel if you want to see a tutorial of how this look came to be. But I'm really, really excited about this palette. I think it's beautiful. As of right now, I've only used it once. So this is just me giving you my first impression. I didn't have any problems blending these colors or creating this look. The only thing that I noticed that I will say is that the mattes have a lot of kick up. So when you pick up these mattes, make sure to like, you know, dot in there or like pat. Don't be swirling because it's going to be a mess. The multichromes are beautiful, but yeah, I, I like it so far my first impression and i do have a code with some of these brands i have a code with colourpop i have a code with nomad it's in jessica at both places i will leave that down below but yeah i'm super excited i forgot to talk about that because 
these were in the pile of the things that I have been wearing today, but I got these as well. So let me get to the numbers game of all of this. <clears throat> so the, the amount of money that I spent on makeup and beauty in March of last year, which is March of 2022, was $720, which is a lot. And if you know from last month, I really didn't do that good in spending less, but you might have noticed in this little haul that I actually did not buy that many things, especially not since this is my job, this is what I do, like I review makeup on YouTube. I feel like I was doing pretty good. I feel like I was very determined with the things that I picked up and I own only, I still spent a lot of money, but I spent $403. I feel like that is a good sum. I've said before, if it's under 500, I feel like I'm doing pretty good. And the things that I bought is like Scentbird. I made that Sephora order with the Huda Beauty palettes, which I made a video on. I did do that uh, order from Ulta where I was buying the Italian Spritz palette, which I have made a video on. I also made an order, I forgot to show you those. I made an order from Sigma when they were having a sale. And and I bought the Sig Magic, these, because that's the, my preferred method to washing my brushes. So I bought two of those and I included those in the calculations that I have done. Those are great. If you're looking for an easy one-stop shop way to clean your brushes, I definitely recommend them. They are very, very nice. Those are the ones that I've been using, but I used mine up. So I needed to buy another one and they were having a sale. So I bought two. And then of course I bought the cream from Ulta that one that I have been using up from Peach and Lily. I did my order from Moira Cosmetics. That one I haven't used yet, but it's also the last thing I bought this month and I definitely am gonna do a video on that. And oh, I bought that cream, bronzer and blush from Makeup Revolution. It was only $12, so I didn't spend a fortune on it, but it is a little bit of a shame that I haven't been able to use it yet but I'll include it in a future video because I will say I am very intrigued to see what kind of formula that is because I was so impressed with the other formula that they had. I would love to hear what you think about these things that I've added to my collections. Do you have any favorites? Do you have anything that you would like to see like included in videos or something like that? What did you buy last month that you really love or did you buy something that you really hate? Let us know so that we know what to avoid. I hope you're having an absolutely amazing day. Thank you again HelloFresh for sponsoring this video and I will see you again really soon in a new video. Bye!